Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 25th of 2023. Well, it is titled Little Planet Aurora. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image, in fact, a 360 degree image. So the entire horizon of the image is around the outer edge of what they look at as a little planet, making it look like a little Earth there. And we can see the photographer there as well, and as well as the uh, some waterfalls and other geographic geographic features scattered out around the image. Now up in the sky above it, we see the Aurora. So an intense auroral display on November the 9th, just a couple of weeks ago, when you could see a lot of the greenish color of the Aurora there in the sky. Now these come when you have an intense activity from the sun. It is our sun that causes the aurora by particles from the sun that travel through space, strike the Earth's magnetic field, and then funnel down toward the north or south magnetic poles. Now this would be the northern lights because we are looking at an image here in Iceland. And you'll note that a lot of the images of the aurora come from these very far northerly or southerly latitudes. So places like Scandinavia and Canada and Alaska give us a lot of the auroral images because that is closer to the point where the magnetic field lines come into Earth, allowing the particles from the sun to strike our atmosphere atmosphere and to strike oxygen atoms in the upper Earth's, Earth's atmosphere and cause it to glow. Now it is much more intense than usual because of a more intense solar storm sending more particles toward Earth, which allows for stronger storms like this and also allows the uh, aurora to be visible at lower latitudes. So often now we're seeing the aurora at lower latitudes and not having to go to the far northern latitudes of Scandinavia and Canada to be able to see them. Now as we look around the sky you can see a number of different things in the sky here and in fact if you look at the very top of the image you can see the stars of the Big Dipper. Uh, right at the very top right above the mountain peak you can see the Dipper with the handle to the left and the bowl to the right hand side of the mountain. Down below on the lower right of the image, we see two other bright objects, including the planet Jupiter, the brightest object we see here. Uh, and off to the right of it and a little bit above, we see the Pleiades star cluster. So all of these captured in the sky as well as the 360 degree panorama compressed into a little planet for our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for November 25th of 2023. It was titled Little Planet Aurora. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the surface of 67P. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.